Hi ladies, uh, just want to take a few minutes to check in with you today before the work week, week begins and um, today being the first day of the week. I've always um, valued just taking this little bit of time with you and connecting. I hope that it's a blessing to you. And um, I just wanted to say, I hope that you're having a lovely Sunday. It is absolutely beautiful outside. As you can see, I'm wearing my bathing suit. I was outside just soaking in the sun and getting that vitamin D. And um, I'm planning on doing a little walk later or going down to the gym. I'm starting to feel strong enough, like maybe I could start getting a little more active. I know there are still limitations that I need to honor, but for the most part, I think um, my healing is really going well and I'm getting stronger and even like some of the numbness in my body is going away and I'm, I'm very pleased about that. I'll be very glad when I can just go um, all out again because I really miss that feeling of the endorphins and um, everything that you get from a regular vigorous uh, workout. So I hope that you are doing that in some way, whether that be more restorative, um, meaning just going for walks out in nature. Uh, so a walk outside is better than a walk inside, but a walk inside is better than no walk at all, right? So that's the way it is sometimes, especially in the winter time. I'm on the treadmill a lot more or the step or downstairs and just, um, you know, getting my heart rate up and sweating. So anyway, um, I really enjoyed meeting with Jen this week and I'm looking forward to meeting with you, Barbara Ann and uh, Krista. I'm really hoping that we can um, get into some of the nitty gritty of uh, what life has been like for you as you've adopted this new lifestyle. Um, things that you see as um, things that are, you know, gains in your life, uh, meaning you're feeling better, you're um, more energetic, um, you're sleeping better, um, you have less pain, um, less inflammation. Those are all things that should be improving as you are walking this out and um, just encouraging you along the way that you know, a day or a meal or um, an event in your life that you see as a setback isn't um, something that has to continue to sabotage uh, your your health journey. So um, I was telling Jen there was one night that I came home and it was after having a really difficult day at home uh, with our dog, Pete, he was extremely sick and um, he made an incredible mess. I call it a, a dog apocalypse. He, I mean, I won't go into the details with you maybe <laughs> later in person if you want to, but I mean, I told Jen it was, it was incredible. I mean, sometimes like these dogs, as much as they're a blessing, they are really a lot of work and can create a tremendous amount of um, anxiety and stress because when they get sick, um, it is a nightmare. So <laughs> anyways, um, the next day, I just remember coming home from work because I had come home from work to an incredible mess and I was so tired and I had to do it. And then um, I really didn't have any time for anything else after that except for to um, eat and prepare to go to bed. So the next night I came home, I, Isaiah had asked me to bring home some, some junk food for him. Um, and you know, our junk food has changed. I know that I've shared some of those things with you that um, you can get that are like a processed food, but they don't contain a lot of the additives and oils and um, chemicals that a lot of the mainstream uh, food-like substances contain. So going for um, like a kettle chip with um, avocado oil as um, the main oil that it's cooked in and having sea salt 
is a main ingredient um, rather than the regular non-beneficial um, bleached out and highly processed salt products that they produce. So um, he asked me to pick up some of that and then um, I, I saw some of the dark chocolate that I like and it's, it has stevia, so it's a good dark chocolate. It's mostly dark chocolate and then stevia is the sweetener, but it's not on my protocol right now. <laughs> but that night, you know, when I brought those chips home with him and I just just like craving tuna and one of my favorite things to eat is um, like a pole cot. It was a really good quality tuna that is according to my protocol. But then I also, you know, put in this avocado mayonnaise that it's not on my protocol. So I ate that with the potato chips and topped it off with that chocolate that night. And um, I did not beat myself up for it. I just said, you know, this is something that is gonna feel like a, um, a reward for me or something good that I really miss and enjoy. And it hasn't derailed um, the protocol that I'm on. So what I did the next time is I went back to my bone broth and I went back to my um, meat and vegetables and soups and I've been doing just fine. So there are times when, you know, you can uh, make concessions in your life. You don't feel like you have to deny yourself of everything good, but um, I would encourage you to find healthy alternatives to what are known, um, for lack of a better word, just poisons to the human body. Um, these food manufacturers do not care about our health. They only care about their profits. And they demonstrate that by continuing to use um, agents that are man-made and they are uh, just destroying the cells in our body, causing cancer, Alzheimer's, um, dementia. Um, they're actually calling um, Alzheimer's now type three diabetes. And so people who are in a pre-diabetic state for a long time finally enter that diabetic state and then the third or yeah third and final phase would be um the dementia or in, in the um alzheimer's so there are different approaches to um seeing these types of symptoms um in in a functional light where we know these are um, to a large degree preventable illnesses so we don't have to uh, follow the path that many of our parents and even, um, you know, our grandparents to some degree have been, um, you know, exposed to these things. And um, so now there's enough knowledge and um, eye-opening information available to us that um, if we simply do a little bit of um, investigating that we can discover how these things work and how they affect our bodies and that's just what is on the plate in life and one of the things that I was talking to Jen about this week is the off the plate um, there are two types of nutrition there's on the plate and off the plate is uh, the kind of phraseology that my school is teaching me and so the off the plate is actually um, a lot bigger than the on the plate type of um, lifestyle that um, makes such a big impact. So um, our mindset, our mind, our will, emotion, and emotions, um, and our spirituality would be the off the plate subjects. And um, so now that we've walked together, um, all all three of you ladies have been with me since about mid-June. And um, I'm hoping that at some point um, we can delve into topics that um, are off the plate subjects. And I know that requires a degree of trust on your part. And um, even for me, like I plan to share from my life as well. So 
just know that um, this whole subject of food and nutrition um, as a lifestyle is a lot bigger than what we're putting into our mouths. It's um, a bigger picture than that, a much bigger picture. Our food has been connected to um, a different area of our life that maybe we haven't recognized or maybe we are recognizing more as we're making these changes. So I think most of us um, understand how our mind and our will and our emotions have played such a big part in our relationship to food. Um, but finding ways of living our life without that kind of dependency and addiction is what we're going after. So um, it's not, um, it's the first thing um, that we do when we address addiction is we go after the biological component. So um, when we began the topic was um, what is it that we can put on our plate that is gonna help us um, reach our goals. And so um, as we have changed what our dietary practices have been, it's created space for conversation and thought about these off the plate subjects. Because when you are in a process of addiction and dependency, and these companies create products that create the addiction. So um, they are you know, designed to make you want to eat more, to want to buy more, and they're not satiating. So, you know, it's, it's a very, it's like a pharmacological nightmare, honestly, is what um, a lot of these products are. Um, and I think we all pretty much understand that. It's just a matter of making a decision to um, leave those practices um, behind. And so, and, and it is, you know, it's a lifestyle that people live, that standard American diet. So um, going against the grain, it takes support. And that's where I see myself in your life. Um, I always see myself as a supporter and not a primary guide. Uh, God is your primary guide. I believe he is the one who brought us together. And I see that each of you recognize that, which is such a blessing to me because, um, you know, you don't depend on me primarily, but you understand that this is um, where God has brought you right now. And um, I'm a forerunner because I've done it. I've made those changes and I've seen what it has done for myself and for my family. And so I take so much joy and um, fulfillment in walking alongside you. But I know that I can't be what God is to you in this journey. God is your primary teacher. He has um, equipped me to be able to walk alongside you as a sister and to help you um, recognize things as like a sounding board. So hopefully um, in the future, now that we're, you know, past what I would consider like a first phase in our coaching relationship, which is establishing a nutritional plan that would help you uh, reach the goals that you want physiologically. So whether that be less pain, um, better sleep, um, a better physique, just when you look in the mirror, not loathing what you see, uh, but getting back to the form that I believe um, God has given us when we take in foods that are truly nourishing to our bodies. So, um, I'm walking with you in that, but I also, like I said, um, as I had discussed with Jen, um, I really want to get into the other areas of life as well with you, if that's something that you would want um, to approach in our coaching relationship. Because for me, when I began um, working with IIN and um, going through their program, I thought the main um, topic was going to be nutritional um, education, but it's a much broader 
much, much broader area of expertise than that. Because if you simply um, just change what's on the plate and you never address the off the plate um, topics, then it can be a short term, um, a short term advancement in your life. And I think we've all experienced those short term advancements as we have, you know, dieted or, you know, chosen to abstain from certain things or, you know, even seeing it as denying ourselves certain things in life. So um, I hope that mindset is something that we can work on together even more. Um, I think it's so, so important and um, the spiritual and the emotional uh, part of our journeys with God and together uh, pursuing more health than we've ever experienced before in our life. I really believe that. I think we've grown up under a system of oppression um, as it pertains to, you know, foods. So, or what we've previously considered as foods and now understand that they are food-like substances. So there's so much more to learn. I am learning more about uh, the biological individuality of each of us, knowing that what works for me may not work um, the same way for you, but there are some guiding principles that are just, they're proven and they are um, accurate. And if this information is applied as a, um, not a perfection, um, but you know, not a course of perfection, but a course of progress in our lives, we can, you know, create a different end for our, uh, the rest of our lives. We don't have to have the standard American disease. We can actually take measures today that will affect us for the rest of our lives. So I hope that is a blessing to you. Those are just some things that you know, I did not script this. I did not give it a whole lot of thought before I came on. I just want to speak to you from my heart because I think that's primarily what I am supposed to do as a coach. I am um, just someone in your life who has walked it out and wants to encourage you and um, give you things to consider as you are discovering what works for you. And um, I hope that... Uh, we can get together as a group too soon. So uh, I'm thinking at, after we meet individually, we should discuss getting together as a group. And it doesn't have to be for a long time, just for an hour or so, get together. I really like the Dagger Mountain um, Roastery. Really big and open, um, light a lot of light and beautiful space. So hopefully we can get together there. They have some really fantastic tea and um, I'm sure their coffee is good too. I am now allowed to drink coffee. So I'm super happy about that. I had my first cup of coffee at work this week and it was so darn good. Uh, so anyway, I sent you a thing on coffee this morning too. Right before I get off here, I'm just gonna close with this. Um, coffee has a lot of mold in it, typically. So um, being intentional about coffee, if you love to drink coffee, getting a brand that doesn't have the mold in it. I know we've I've sent little things to you um, about that. I'm not sure where you guys are in that, um, but choosing that. And then even um, what I'm learning is the teas. <laughs> This is crazy, this is so crazy. So you're buying this tea and you think it's great, um, but like the little satchel that um, contains the tea, that can have little microplastics in it. So finding a tea source that um, does not have those plastics in it, that's something I'm learning about and it's something that maybe you can look into. So that was a little bit of a rabbit trail, but just one of those things that I think about um, in terms of, you know, incrementally making better choices that is going to lower the level of toxicity in our body and um, be able to help us live in a more um, rich and energetic and uh, peaceful state. And so I hope that you're enjoying more peace in your life because of the biological changes. I know life is hard. Um, we each have our own uh, 
um, unique set of circumstances that are challenging for us. And we know that God is um, allowing that to happen for our uh, maturity and so that we can be a uh, blessing to other people. And so I hope that you are um, embracing your life more fully and that you are enjoying life a little bit more um, now that you are finding more freedom um, perhaps than ever before in your physical body. So creating that freedom once again in your body uh, creates a lot more room for discovery and for healing in other parts of our life as well. So um, I love you guys and I look forward to our next interaction together. Happy Sunday.